Hey girl, it's me, Sarah on the Dragon. If you have not already subscribed, go subscribe, like, comment, share the video, okay? So, I am going to do a reading for my, I heard Aquarius, for my Aquarius. I'm going to do a reading for Aquarius, okay? Aquarius. What's going on for the Aquarius? Oh, goodness. So, we got paid to lie on you. Demonic attachment. April Taurus. Whew. Stalking you from jail. Alaska. Sits outside your house. Arkansas. And false pregnancy. Sits outside your house. Oh, Alaska. Stalking you from jail and false pregnancy. And then we got Arkansas, okay? So on top of the deck for Aquarius, we got June Cancer. And we got Maryland. On the bottom of the deck, we got Maine. And then we have Caught on Camera and Fake Friends. And then it's a uh, Maine, Maine the state, okay? But it could be like Maine person or something. So let's see, false pregnancy. What is false pregnancy for the Aquarius? What's this false pregnancy? It's about to be exposed here. Possibly a Leo. Some, yep, a Leo. Somebody here is being exposed for creating a false pregnancy. Somebody here is getting rejected or something like that. And they're possibly gonna be end up um, single or by themselves or something like that. Or someone's choosing to go off by their cells here because, you know, Somebody hear a lot about a pregnancy. I don't know. Okay, it could be a um so somebody's intuition told them that. But yeah, somebody here about to move away. This cancer is cancer involved. Someone here could be getting left out in the cold or planning to leave a situation, looking out to the future, trying to see where they want to go here. You know, find their independence. Someone here could be choosing to find their own independence and lay something to rest, a situation to rest. So that a situation is coming to an end because of a false pregnancy or something like that. Or maybe something is just not growing here. As something is getting exposed that, oh, it was going to grow and be birthed into something. Something was birthing, something was coming together, or something was growing, and really it wasn't. It was a false start, a false pregnancy, false hope, or something like that, okay? What is uh, Arkansas for the Aquarius? Arkansas, somebody here could be worried about something coming to an end. I'm not saying sure what the Arkansas means. Okay. This also is giving me demonic attachment vibes. to somebody who be up at night. Somebody here who doesn't sleep good at night. Somebody from Arkansas, possibly maybe a, um, a business. Somebody here regrets, could have regretted sending business towards somebody or doing business with somebody here who caused a lot of um, conflict and chaos for a family. Um, this could be uh, Aries involved, Arkansas. Yeah, possibly some type of um, organization or something like that here. What's this paid to lie on you? Maybe it's based in Arkansas, Aquarius. For the Aquarius, who paid, paid to lie on you. Family, family paid to lie on you. Something about work here is coming to an ending. So I paid family to lie on you. They created some type of, they were like possibly angry or a group of people could have been paid to lie on you. Maybe family or, or a community or organization or something could have been paid to lie on you here. Somebody here was uh, casting judgment on you move quick was taking impulsive risks towards you could have been angry with you or something like that so they paid people to lie on you either they paid people so yeah they could have paid people to lie on you Aquarius yeah so I'm telling you to, to to lay something to rest here possibly to lay to rest like you're loving nature or whatever this is maybe you could be the sun and you're like independent you're strong by yourself so people would um they paid people to lie on you possibly because you were young they paid them to believe lies about you know because of someone because someone was young so it was easier to believe that this person was doing something that they had no business doing 
uh, and that's why they were independent or something like that there, right? Or that's why you're independent. Here's your energy Aquarius card. Then we have ending here. I feel like you're healing. So that's what's causing an ending to whatever illusion these people that were being paid to lie on you were doing. You're healing here. I feel like you could also be a star. There could be a lot of attention on you, a lot of eyes on you, Aquarius. And so that's why people were lying on you, paid to lie on you, because you were a, a star here. You could be a community. There could be like people in your community who were paid to lie on you, Aquarius. What's this demonic attachment? They were paid to like make up rumors about you because they wanted people to believe bullshit. Yeah, but you're the empress, the star, your divine feminine here. Queen of Cups here. You could be a um, highly intuitive. A lot of people watch you. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they were trying trying to take action to end out something out of je out of jealousy, but it's all like it all backfired here. Somebody here is you're getting justice, Aquarius, for people who are trying to attack you. What's this demonic attachment? Could be also like at work too as well. Demonic attachment. People were sowing seeds and taking action towards you to possibly make demons attached to you or try to create demons to attach to you or something like that. Or these people here who were planning and plotting against you, they had demonic attachments do, um, on them based off of whatever it is that they were doing here. But somebody here is also choosing to... Oh, they were try possibly trying to send demonic attachments towards your business to make people walk away from your business as well. This is something that they were doing secretly, secretly taking action, trying to uh, play um, who they call. They were trying to play a role. They were, they were trying to manipulate the energy around your career and who you were here. Something like that. Okay, this could have been a, a secret society or organization, a group of people who, you know, a hub or something like that, like a coven or something like that. These people were sending demonic attachments, but they got demonic attachments or something like that. They were possibly trying to work, trying to keep you away from your, from love or something. It could be a cancer, um, who was it? Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo with the demonic attachment as well. Aquarius, yeah, of oh, this emperor here. Yeah, I really feel like they were trying to send it towards your business. Or this really could be an Aries here. They were trying to stagnate your business to get people to walk away from your business here. They were trying to slow it down. Trying to get you to walk away from the seeds that you sown in your business. Yeah, not a wands. I feel like you're a wounded warrior. You could have went through a lot of stuff, but you're not regretting anything that you went through, Aquarius. Because it helped you to grow and to whoever it is that or yeah whoever it is you're growing into okay you have your you're triumphant over a lot of adversities a lot of um plots and schemes you know a lot of people are investing in, in you yeah so yeah that's the truth but you're a star Aquarius, okay? You shine bright. I see you healing here. You could be, yeah, they could be worried because you're healing and you're still speaking. You're still using your intuition here. You're still choosing to go. You're still choosing to move forward. Nine of Cups, you're still finding wish fulfillment, Aquarius, and they're trying to understand how or why. These people who have these demonic attachments here, this possibly cancer, seek, taking secret action against you here because you're a star. All right, so... <clears throat> Let's see, what's this? April Taurus for the Aquarius. April Taurus. April Taurus for the Aquarius. What's this April Taurus? Um, King of Swords. Somebody here. King of Swords, King of Cups. This April Taurus could be... Like, this person could be acting like... They could be really sharp toned. They can act like they don't really have a lot of emotions, but they do have a lot of emotions or something like that here. Someone here is like, you know, they just say, they say, I don't know. Somebody here is getting some, is somebody's in regret as well. So what's this King of Swords for the April Taurus? King of Swords. Somebody here who's worried. They're worried here. A lot of swords with this King of Swords person. This person could be really worried, afraid of jail. Um, so, so afraid of being, they're like, they're watching someone or they're being watched here. Somebody here is being tormented at night. They can't sleep at night. 
What's the King of Cups? April with this April Taurus. King of Cups. King of Cups. Yeah, somebody. I feel like this could be your energy. You're choosing to protect your energy here. Okay, you're protecting your energy. Aquarius. Yeah. I feel like there could be somebody here who um, maybe there was a King of Cups. Maybe a King of Cups came rushing in here. And now this person is watching you from afar and regret this King of Swords. There's somebody here who's coming pop and is choosing to like partner up with you. This would be like a past life soulmate. Look, you're matching their energy, Aquarius, with the, King, with the Queen of Cups. So you two love each other very much. This is a very healing connection here. So whatever was done... Yeah, it's new love coming in because you chose to heal, Aquarius. So now you have a solid commitment or a solid connection coming in. Somebody here is really um, moving forward. And this other person, this King of Swords, is getting left out in the cold. That could be an ex, that could be a Gemini, a Aquarius, or a can um, Libra. This new person could be any sign, or this should just be someone who really, truly loves you a lot. Um... Uh, water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Can I get a sign for this King of Cups for the Aquarius? A sign for this King of Cups for the Aquarius. Could be an Earth sign here. What's a sign? I'm gonna need a sign. A major arcana, preferably. Could be an Air sign as well. Yeah, somebody here is getting left out. They're trying to tell me more about the King of Swords, though. But the, the, this King of Swords was lying here. They was lying. They were sneaking around, being manipulated. They thought they thought they was slick. Okay? Somebody thought they were slick, and the truth came out. And then, like, I feel like someone here is about to be single because it's like, you know what? I don't even really need to be stuck here with you. I'm about to leave this connection out of the cold, whatever this is. It's not really going nowhere. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Look, somebody here is really pulling back their energy, their time, everything. There's a lot of pinnacles here. Somebody here feels like they're missing out on a lot and so they're pulling back from this partnership um possibly with somebody from the past or uh pulling out and trying to reconcile with someone else from from the past here who's this king of cups justice could be a libra as well cancer that's cancer energy libra energy so yeah somebody this is happening like secretly yeah somebody also has secret um uh what they call love affairs Possibly with a Scorpio here, but that's coming to an end. Could have been somebody at work. Someone's intuition had already told them that they was doing something with somebody at work. And yeah, you're right, Aquarius. If you got your, a suspicion with somebody and you're choosing to leave this person and you assume that there's something going on at work, it is. Okay? So then we have... <clears throat> yeah, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. A whole ending to... It's, 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 something is ended out. Somebody's foundation is coming to a complete and total end. And someone here is having an enlightenment and they're like, you know what? I'm walking the fuck away from this shit. I don't have to do none of this shit. Five of Wands. I don't have to. I don't got to do this shit. I don't got to partner up with y'all. We can go ahead and plan to go ahead and separate. Do what the fuck needs to be done. Like, boom, tower moment. Somebody here is over that shit. They over it with an April Taurus or this is how the April Taurus feel or something like that here yeah indecision I feel like you could have been an indecision you could have not really or this person either you or this person really didn't know which way to go or how this would go so they was you know staying out of fear or something like that here okay so stalking you from jail what's stalking you from jail stalking you from jail yeah somebody here don't know what to do exactly they feel indecisive here they don't know what, how to go, what action to take. To take, They don't know what choice to make. There's a choice that's going to have to be made, Aquarius, when somebody here comes from jail or something like that here. Somebody here possibly could be stalking you from jail. They just, they're like deceiving themselves. They feel they don't know which way to go. They don't know if they should take action or not take action. They don't know if they should come to you or not come to you because it's like you're protected. They're thinking they could come out possibly from jail and get released here and come towards you. But I feel like you're gonna be protecting your energy because your intuition already told you, hey, um, no, world card. That's, that, no, I know possibly someone here could know that they're 
you know, getting they they are like they like to feed off of your or this person likes to feed off of your energy here or they're like codependent or something in some way or your energy. It's almost like they suck your energy here. When you like, I don't know, if this person leaves, you feel like tired after this person leaves or something because they just sucked all your energy here or something like that here. They could come in trying to plan to work with you or maybe they plotting and planning and working with someone else here in the dark here because you alone. They think you alone. So they think they can move in quick on you. This stalking you from jail card, um, Aquarius. I don't know who that's from. Yeah, look, stalking you from jail. Somebody here in regret. Because they were secretly doing something or secretly taking, secretly took some type of money or was paid to see, they were secretly paid to do something, Aquarius. And you're an angel. You speak the truth. You see right through them. They look, you looking at this motherfucker like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck on, <laughs> like I'm not supposed to see what the fuck you doing. Like I'm not supposed to know that you was paid, that you, like everything that I say, everything that I speak of. You gonna report back to the motherfuckers. Like you, I know you're being manipulated by uh possibly what they say neighbors here or a community. Okay. Yeah, so you laid it to rest. You knew these people, you was only they was only watching you or wanting to talk with you because they was um being manipulated by people in the community to try to see what was really going on with you, Aquarius. So you rejected it. Four of swords, four of cups, you laid that shit to rest with this nine of cups. Somebody here coming in trying to sweet talk you and kiss your ass and all that extra stuff. No, play a play a partner. I see what you doing. I know you are ass got paid to stalk me from jail to call my motherfucking phone 15 million damn times because you got paid to fucking be all up in my business. I know. Like, <laughs> and so you just, you're like, no. Mm -mm. Hell no. To, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you sailed away. Okay, you sailed away with the six of swords, two of wands. What's this Alaska card? Protecting your energy. What's Alaska? Alaska? Alaska. Oh. Okay, but I also feel like you found the strength to find, like build up your foundation here. There also could have been a Leo involved in something here. I'm going to shuffle these again. What's Alaska here? Somebody here is very strong. What's Alaska? You could have also been very strong minded here. Um, very different, Aquarius. Could have been people from Alaska or people watching you from Alaska. What's Alaska here? Secretly. Cold, ice style. There's something here. Alaska. Somebody here could have tried to ship you to Alaska or something like that. Could have possibly tried to put you on a carton over the sea, kidnap you or something like that. If it's your story, you'll know. Okay, there's a lot of water here. Okay, there's a lot of water. Um, yeah, the truth came out. It was yeah. Somebody here was trying to stagnate your your growth, your business, or your whatever this was. Someone here was trying to. It's like you were enlightened here. People didn't like that you were enlightened and that you knew what was going on with this uh, um, manipulation here. Possibly a Leo could have been like a ringleader to it all. Just sending in somebody to be manipulative. This this illusion here with this moon card to do all this extra stuff. They would, you, yeah, I don't know. They just, they just wanted, they thought that they could have somebody on the end. Somebody here, people who did not like you thought that they could send someone towards you um, and get information about your spiritual practices and things like that, things that you did, you know, send someone to be like, oh, let me learn, teach me this or teach me that so that they could figure out ways on how they could keep you stagnant, okay? But I feel like you still, you ended up walking away. You seen the truth throughout whatever this was that somebody was doing. I feel like you turned, maybe you could have turned cold. Alaska, ghost, cold, like, no. Nah. Cold, Aquarius, okay? You went cold. Yeah, you know somebody was paid to take action on you. And I feel like this is what pushed you into a different direction. Now you, you have justice here. You, you, you will have justice on this, Aquarius. 
your work is justice. Whatever this is, these seeds that you sown is what's bringing in justice for you in this situation. So let's see. What is sits outside your house? It's like, okay, you know how in Alaska, Alaska is like a, the top, it's at the very top of North America, right? But it's still part of the U.S., and I feel like maybe they, it's like it was a situation where people were trying to treat you different, possibly because you were from a different region or from, you were different in some kind of way from the rest of that community or place where you was at. So people were trying to do extra shit. Okay. But I feel like you've seen through that. Maybe that's what this is. Okay. All right. So, um, <clears throat> sits outside your house. Sits outside your house. Could be a Leo that sits outside your house at nighttime. Or somebody here could be um, a Sagittarius or a Aries who sits outside your house. Could be a Cancer that sits outside your house, um, Aquarius. And they're like, could be heartbroken about something. Yeah, somebody heartbroken us about something. We saw the uh, Three of Swords. Maybe they they regret some type of choices or actions they took outside your house. Three of Swords again here. Yeah, because somebody here, somebody here is the Ace of Pentacles energy. Like you're very abundant, very vibrant. You shine bright. You are like a total wish fulfillment. You are a Ten of Cups. You know, it's like you would be the ultimate either like love choice or or friend choice or whatever this is. And you know, somebody here feels left out in the cold could be a gemini involved because you close out a cycle with them and now they're worried they want to talk to you here but they they feel you know they feel alone they feel isolated they don't feel good they miss you or they regret they i don't know if they necessarily miss you but they regret whatever they did because they they like they really want to talk to you or something like that yeah, could be a, um, a Scorpio here involved. Yeah, they want a rebirth here. This death, this death card is giving me rebirth. Okay? They want to come and offer you some type of flowers here. Yeah, but I feel like soon you're going to be moving away. Or they can't come and say what they want to say because you're moving away. In some kind of way. Yeah, you're with the, with the hermit card. Yeah, you're a hermit. That's what it is. You're a hermit here. And you they know that they know that you would be guided to move to leave them out in the cold. They they know that you're the type of person who's gonna be like, nah. Or this is how they tried to make everybody else be towards you. Like, you know, leave this person out in the cold. Nah, just reject them. They're weird or whatever the case may have been. You know. Yeah, they know you were gonna you they know that you can see straight through them, Aquarius. So they feel, you know, they feel silly because they tried to come and love bomb you and like be sneaky in your face and plan to like possibly like do magic on you in your face type shit. Like you wasn't supposed to see that shit. Could be a Leo, a Virgo, or a a a um Scorpio. They know you can see straight through them. And it's like they want to collaborate, but they 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 also don't. They don't want... They have too much pride. Yeah, they're stuck in pride or, or something like that. I don't know. Or someone here just knows that you're going to walk away. You're going to be like, uh-huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> like, shit. Like, nah. Yeah, I feel like you and this King of Swords energy, Aquarius, and, you know, you choosing to move on. You on your chariot and you moving forward, okay? You're not you're not letting whatever this proposal or offering is, it, whatever this page of Pentacles is, you possibly you could be online. You could be very committed to something as well. You're really taking time to invest in something that's um, creating a wish fulfillment for you. Here. You're building up your Ten of Pentacles while... You know, somebody else feels rejected, but they, but honestly, they feel the way that they wanted you to feel. They wanted you to feel rejected and like low or whatever the case may be. That's how they feel. Okay, so let's see. False pregnancy for the Aquarius. What's this false pregnancy? I'm not going to get too many cards on it. False pregnancy 
Okay, so somebody here is getting exposed. They're getting kicked out for lying and saying that they got pregnant or some type of shit because somebody here just wanted some type of money. They could have said that they was pregnant and they just wanted some money. Or maybe somebody here thought that they was, that again, something was growing. This money card, they thought somebody had the money, but they were just lying. So now somebody here is getting exposed and they're about to get kicked out. It's a false start. Somebody here, something was supposed to happen or something was supposed to go up. Some type of something was supposed to be given. Somebody here being given some Christmas, possibly. Yeah, it's a choice that you're going to have to make here soon. Okay. So, let's see. For Aquarius, Arkansas. What is Arkansas for Aquarius? Arkansas. Could be a copycat from Arkansas. Somebody here. Could be uh, somebody from Arkansas. Could be copying you if you're a reader here. Trying to copy your gifts. Possibly trying to doppelgang your gifts or something like that here, Aquarius. Um, there could be something that comes out with... Something could be dealing with Christmas here. Um, hmm, I don't really know about this Arkansas card. Somebody here feels stuck in the middle or something as well. What's Arkansas? Yeah, somebody here is breaking free. Behind the scenes, somebody here feels like they want to break free from something here. This person here who's very inspirational, I feel like you're releasing, you leaving somebody behind or leaving something behind and you choosing to go towards your peace, Aquarius. What's this page to lie on you for the Aquarius? Paid to lie on you. Whoever was paid to lie on you, it created blockages here. People still, the more they lied or the more they talked about you, the more people started to romanticize over you. They started to look at you like, ooh, you know, what is really going on here? You know, and it's really that people are starting to seem like they, the, whoever this is, this toxic family or this toxic group of people here, they're, it's starting to seem like they're just obsessed here, okay? Illusions here. They're, it's illusions. Somebody here is obsessed with you. But it's over with, it's dead. People leaving that situation behind, they leaving the lies behind. Okay, somebody here sees the truth about who you are, Aquarius. So what's demonic attachment for the Aquarius? Apology. Somebody here with a demonic attachment wants to apologize to you here. Possibly because their secrets are getting exposed or maybe you are exposing their secrets here. But I see you being very guarded or needing to be guarded from whoever this was that has this demonic attachment. Because they also thought something was funny. They could have made fun of your practices, your religious belief. Maybe you were into healing or something like that. Like you are very open about your self-reflection and this person who has demonic attachments who was not very open about their um, reflections or, or their self-reflection was trying to keep someone bound here. But things are being balanced because now this person is being pushed into a space where they have no choice but to self-reflect on their actions because you're very inspirational to a lot of people, okay? So yeah, their shit has been blocked. Whatever this is, is blocked. Also, the signs and symbols, they're probably, they're realizing that things are being blocked up for them because of um the way that they treated you Aquarius if you're this person here that is very inspirational to a lot of people whoever this was that ganged up on you to try to make fun of you for whatever your practices are these people who had these demonic attachments they're now their lives are now being blocked up because either um or, yeah yeah it's like every time something goes wrong they think of you Aquarius and they realize fuck I guess I did do this, such and such and such. So now somebody here wants to apologize to try to clear out their karma here. <clears throat> yeah, they're reaching their breaking point. Somebody here needs help. All the black magic could be driving somebody crazy here. Yeah, they need to self-reflect in order to bring balance into their life here. Balance, oh, balance also will come with apology here. When somebody here apologizes something or something like for something like that. Relax though. Because somebody here is oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody here is bound up. Somebody here is in spiritual jail because they were going the wrong way. They stubbornly kept doing something to someone like you, Aquarius, who's very relaxed. You could be somebody who's very relaxed. And this devil here, this card's not even supposed to be in the, in the deck. This devil, this karmic person could be a Capricorn. Kept coming for you, Aquarius. And so they landed up in spiritual jail or literally in real jail. Okay, a lot going on behind the scenes. Oh, wait here, performer here. Yeah, you could be a performer. And so this is one of the things that was going on behind the scenes. All behind somebody 
Oh, Lord. Possibly somebody who you was meant to be with. Maybe like a twin flame or something like that. Okay, so let's get back into it. What's the April Taurus for the Aquarius? April Taurus, fork in a row. You're going to have to make a choice about this April Taurus because they'll be causing a lot of problems, a lot of drama here. Somebody here thinks some shit funny, but it's not funny. Somebody here be trying to do spell work possibly over you. Secretly doing spell work over you. They be coming for you on the stick. Yeah, they be slick doing spell work. What's this April Taurus? Yeah, codependency here. Somebody here is codependent. New Year's, new cycle here. Somebody here, it's something that this person possibly about to do that's going to get them, like, tied up. And you have to make a choice when it comes to this April Taurus. Yeah, because it's about they about to receive some type of blockages or maybe yeah, they're experiencing blockages or something like that here. Something could have happened around New Year. Somebody here doesn't want to apologize for something. And so it's off balance. Here go another card. Look, the Eight of Wands. They're supposed to be speaking. They're supposed to be saying something to you. This card ain't supposed to be in here either. Lord, I've been shuffling with half the deck. Uh -huh. Eight of Wands. Yeah, fire. Somebody here is about to get communication that something is done and over with. Like, they're getting fired or maybe you releasing this person from your life or something like that here. Yeah. Because mm -mm. somebody don't want to apologize, so things are off balance. Aquarius. They're codependent here. Damn. Could be codependent on something that you on something new that you're getting here, but you're in your life purpose here. And so they thought that they could like they thought they could copy you. Yeah, they thought they could copy you. They thought you was just trying something new and then they became obsessed with you. They became codependent on whatever this is that you do. Okay? So yeah, you have to make a choice. And nine times out of ten, I see you guarding and protecting your energy from this April Taurus. So that's a warning, too, when it comes to this April. It's a warning of uh, possibly an arrest. Arrest. Someone here could be getting arrested spiritually or physically, stalking you from jail. Let's clarify stalking you from jail. Stalking you from jail could be a, uh, somebody here born around Christmas time or in the month of December, Sagittarius or a um, Capricorn. They'd be stalking you from jail. Somebody here will be watching your readings or something like that here. What's the stalking you from jail? Rumors. They be spreading rumors here. Talking shit about your gifts. Whoever this is, they obsessed. Again, this is stalking. Look, jail right here. Oh, shit. Somebody here is also needs being warned to find something new to do. Okay? Because someone's attempts are all going to be blocked. Here. You can talk as much shit as you want to about somebody and their gifts and their readings or whatever the fuck it is. But y'all, whoever this is, their attempts are going to be freaking blocked someone's here actions that they took in the past against someone is um against you aquarius is catching up to them okay they now people see you and they desire you so whatever actions this person here was taking and all this shit they were talking about your gifts it backfired okay they're being seen as somebody who's just like i don't know watch out for them man because they they kind of hate her you know they people looking at them like they hate her Okay, so now they being blocked. People don't really want to. Yeah, they're a hater. They're a copycat, Aquarius. That's how people looking at them. They looking at them like somebody, oh, please, you love the hell out of such and such. Or you just over there acting like you don't love them. You love the hell out of that or out of that girl or out of that man. That's why you over there stalking them, trying to do every damn thing that they sitting there doing. You love them. Shut up. Like, and it's making other people love them. So just be grateful, Aquarius. Because there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes, right? A lot of things are being righted. Okay, a lot of stuff is being cleansed away. A lot of wrongs are being right, me right. Okay, you got a new job. So let's see. And cleanse, caution, bound, cleanse. So right here, cleanse your space of those people who try to stop you from living into living in your life purpose. Okay. Oh. Hold on. Hey. Yeah. Hey, bring me an incense. Uh, hey, bring me an incense. Somebody here is addicted to your readings too, huh? Sorry, guys. Hold on.
Stay in the kitchen. I don't have a lighter. I don't have a lighter. Use the candles. I'm in the middle of the reading. Can you light it? Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, shit. I think I got one. I'm going to see if this works. Oh, no, no, no. I don't need to. Oh, I got it back. Never mind. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. Oh, wait. I thought I had one. Excuse me. Okay. So yeah. Woo, I had to get my incense going. But someone here is addicted to your messages or something like that here in Paris as well. So let me see, where were we at? We was at um, Alaska, right? Yeah, jump to conclusions. Okay, so let's see, what's this um, Alaska card for the Aquarius? Excuse me, y'all. Alaska. Okay, so, so be grateful that, you know, people people was isolating you and trying to guard, be guarded towards you or be, be grateful that, you know, you had that peace here because in a way you were able to self-reflect, okay? You were able to self-reflect by taking time to be alone and by yourself, indifferent or whatever the case may have been because you purifying your energy. I feel like behind the scenes, you're going to be celebrating or you are celebrating, okay? Behind the scenes, you're celebrating or you're being celebrated behind the scenes, okay? Even though possibly they don't, you know, they don't want to, somebody here don't want to say something to you or whatever the case may have been. They still celebrate you, okay? Or you're still being celebrated behind the scenes, Aquarius. Yeah, because you're in, whatever this is that you do when you're in your life purpose, people are starting to see through the fog or you are helping other people see through the fog, okay? Someone here is, in, they don't, they were indecisive about giving you money for whatever this is that you're in your life purpose about, but it's like now they're starting to get, you know, codependent on your readings or whatever this is that you do. And they want, they're trying to choose, they, they're eventually, they're going to make a choice to pay you for your insights. Okay. Because, but at first someone here thought that you were just doing it just to get money here. So now, you know, someone, they're looking at you with the evil eye. Um, realizing that maybe you could be doing something on a platform like YouTube or uh, TikTok or um, Facebook. Yeah, see, performer, reader. Maybe you're doing something where you're not even getting paid to do or getting paid for your readings. You know, you're you're working for the collective right now and it's helping you to grow here. Your intuition is growing. Okay. <clears throat> So that's what that Alaska card is. Yeah, somebody here thought that they they spread rumors about you doing black magic and spell work and all that stuff because you are an intuitive person who could be very vocal about what it is that you do here. Um, but see, someone here was missing a, a missing piece of the puzzle here. Possibly someone here was actually doing spell work over you, black magic and spell work over you, this community or this family group or something like that here. And they thought that it was funny I don't know. They they did stuff. Okay, so listen. They could have said somebody here was being manipulative and they were saying that you do black magic, right? This uh family or this community group here. And they thought it was funny. They were trying to make fun of you and this, you know, spreading rumors to block you up, right? They were doing spell work over you and black magic at the same time while spreading rumors. Okay. So they were saying they were the ones doing the spell work, Aquarius. 
and they were spreading rumors about you saying that it was you who was doing spell work over people and stuff like that so that people would kick you out but now someone here that it's like a lot of people are inspired by you because someone does someone is gifted someone did start copying the person who was really gifted someone spread so many so much lies and rumors on someone else here but really they're copying the person who they were talking about now they trying to be now they trying to use uh they trying to do whatever it is that you're doing or what you've been doing. They try to put you down and make you look bad, but at the same time, they trying to be you. Aquarius, where they do that at? They don't want to give you your credit, okay? And it's not even giving anybody any credit. It's just, man, don't don't talk bad about folks. Don't talk bad about folks and look down on folks and turn your nose up at folks and then sit up there and turn around and do the same damn thing that these people doing. What is you doing? You So you done caused up all that drama and chaos for nothing. Really, if somebody here looked up to you and they actually, they let envy take over their hearts and, and jealousy take over their hearts instead of actually coming to you and saying, hey, you know, what are you doing? I want to learn how to do that too. How do I do this or how do I do that? Somebody here could have jumped straight into a profession that maybe wasn't even a part of their life purpose. And now they're being attacked by different energies that they let in because it was ne they were not supposed to go down that path. They could have been throwing black magic on you and copying your energy, trying to siphon your energy and do whatever this is that you do while opening themselves up to spirits that they were not prepared to handle. Okay. And at the same time, training you on how to handle said spirits. They was casting spirits towards you that they could not handle. But they taught you or helped you <laughs> become the warrior that you are, Aquarius, because of the shit that they were doing to you. Okay? You battled some crazy ass shit. Okay? Evil eye. All out of evil eye, they was doing this stuff. Because you were a performer. You were up on a platform. You were growing. Okay? Your readings were growing. Or something. They were just, they were envious of you. Yeah, so now somebody here, purify your energy here, because somebody here is confused at how, how all this blackmail, somebody here could have been making, you know, talking crap on Facebook or online or whatever the case may have been. Somebody could have made countless fake pages and, you know, did a bunch of stuff behind the scenes to try to be childish and stuff and blase, blase, bloopity, bloop, bloop. Stuck in the past, try to use your addictions to keep you stuck in the past or something like that. But they're getting left behind here. Somebody here was just childish as hell. Childish? Then a motherfucker. So let's see. Also, somebody here could be confused as to how you dropped your addictions or whatever the case may have been. They could have been trying to say that she was on some type of addictions, but really it was them. Ooh, somebody was saying something about you, baby. Yeah. See, look. Somebody here at first, they didn't want to believe you was met. You was um they want to think he was a catfish, right? But I feel like now things are, sh as you continue to work and do whatever this is that you're doing, Aquarius, you're showing people, you know, like, you're helping people get through situations where they were going the wrong way or something like that here. So you're helping these people. Yeah, and they also are starting to see who was really lying and who was really gifted. For the Aquarius, what sits outside your house? For the Aquarius. For the Aquarius, they put spell work outside your house. They be dropping shit in the grass and shit. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, missing, <laughs> missing piece of the puzzle. Yeah, missing piece of the puzzle. Okay, so the part of the puzzle that they was missing when they even started all this blackmail stuff and started all this stuff that they were trying to do, Aquarius, was that you just started over a whole new cycle. So you ain't even the same person that you used to be. So they over here trying to report old information receipts of old shit what is you doing baby talking about addictions here we go still addictions sits at your house sits outside your house if you have some type of past addiction or something they trying to show they trying to show other people oh well look at this person when they was doing this or that blah, 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 blah. missing piece of the puzzle fork in a row what's this or this could be somebody who is on drugs that sits outside your house Aquarius fork in a row somebody here is gonna have to make a choice because they and this can also be somebody here who 
um, romanticizes you or who like, you know, they think about you in a really good way here and they want to, or maybe not even they think about you in a really good way. Pe they are confused as to how people can still love you out of all this goddamn confusion and black magic spells that they done did on you, Aquarius. How the fuck are they still being looked at? As somebody who people want to give roses to. That's what they're trying to understand. See, the missing piece of the puzzle is that they don't understand is that all of their actions, all of their choices that they've taken against you, Aquarius, are going to be balanced here because that is who you are. Aquarius, you could have, um, you could be like, my aunt could be working very closest with you, okay? This is some, this is, you have a very, um, balancing energy. Like, you give and demand, like, karmic energy. You 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 give instant karma, and you give instant karma to the point where when when it hits the person, your face is all they can see, because they have to think about why you sat here and did all this black magic over this one person who ain't did nothing to nobody, ain't bother nobody. Okay, yeah, somebody here paid all that damn money for black magic to be done on this person, and now somebody here is getting caught up because this person you. Aquarius, they're starting a new they're starting a new uh cycle. You're starting a new cycle, Aquarius. So they sitting here, they money getting caught up in all this black magic and not realizing that it's everything is balancing back out. While they trying to steal your money or whatever the case may have been, they they need to um they need to they need to pay pay the voodoo man or the voodoo lady. For, to do some financial spell work on themselves instead of trying to, uh, you know, chase this altercate, altercation with you, Aquarius, because they chasing the dragon here. You're not nowhere near involved with these people who be doing all this shit outside your house. You, you not don't necessarily give a fuck about none of that shit. <laughs> like, so I feel like you're just in the energy of being grateful um there also could be around thanksgiving somebody here could be sitting outside your house trying to wait to send altercation towards you in a relationship that you're in as well if you and yeah obsessed they're just obsessed they're obsessed <laughs> you could be born around october or these people could be born around october or this could have happened around october or something like that someone here could have lied on somebody around this town they just be lying and tricking and scheming obsession these people are obsessed with you because you are on a some type of platform aquarius you are amused okay you are inspirational to someone they are inspired by you but they are also too jealous of you to actually be genuinely cool with you so someone here is at a breaking point because like they're being forced to self-reflect it's like damn i can't take this motherfucker down damn i slick need this motherfucker or whatever the case may be in Aquarius. they they it's a bittersweet love hate relationship they like fuck i can't stand this goddamn girl Ugh. you know i don't know Breaking point and self-reflection came up in reverse somebody is not self-reflecting so they're about to reach a breaking point they're about to drive themselves goddamn crazy Okay, and there are people gonna be laughing at them when they do this shit. Damn, there's gonna be a lot of people laughing. At, a lot of people actually are laughing at them. They feel as though this person is crazy, and they're ending out this situation here. Yeah, they look. look they, I said they feel like this person is crazy. They're they are they don't want nothing to do with this person. Like, damn, bitch, you, bitch, you crazy. Why is you still talking about Aquarius? Like, bitch, <laughs> why is you still talking? <laughs> what is the problem? Somebody here jumping to conclusions that somebody here keeps doing spell work. It's like they think that you're doing spell work on them, Aquarius, right? <laughs> so they keep doing more spell work over you, thinking that, you know, they can stop you or delay you or do whatever the hell they're trying to do. And they don't, they're not doing anything but digging a deeper hole from themselves, okay? Somebody here is blocking up their own transformation by continuing to jump to conclusions that they can do spell work over somebody like you, Aquarius. You is not to be fucked with. You didn't, you didn't drug, you didn't, you didn't been going back and forth with these people for a minute and they can't spiritually break you down at all. So they mad as hell. Just relax though. Yeah. Cause somebody here in spiritual jail, they saying they're stuck in spiritual jail and a spiritual sexual jail at like that pretty much meaning like nothing satisfies their urges or they with somebody who nothing satisfies their urges. They trapped to a lustful energy. That's the prison for them that they created. 
or something like that. They yeah, they bound in lust. All right, Aquarius, I think I got all about all of your messages out. I hope that this made sense. Y'all go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Hey. <laughs>